guys uh, this is just a video for um, I believe it is ATV blog uh, that I got some comments on one of my videos and uh, Google Plus has been hailing me over there I don't really pay attention to Google Plus but I did see this guy um, uh, sorry I forget the name eludes me right now but uh, this is this is for him I'll look it up when I get back to the computer but uh, this is uh, my camp uh, we're just building this uh, this is brand new we're, we're gonna start doing a series of videos on it but uh, this is a review of my um, 2014, yeah, 2014 Lin High Bighorn uh, 400 SE 4x4. Um, yeah, a lot of people were like, were like, is it good? I mean, is it all? Yeah, I have to, I have to say, uh, it's been an absolutely great four wheeler. Uh, for being Chinese, and for the fiasco I had when I got it with the lady who uh, sold it to me. Who turned out she, you know, had had rode it hard, put it up wet, and let it sit a long time, and I had to do, recently do some maintenance to it because of that. But that's a given. Um, in hindsight, uh, I would have waited and got the uh, model that came out at the end of the 2014 model year because this is actually like a 2013. This was built by the factory here in uh, Lawrenceville, Georgia, and uh, it was a demo. It, it was uh, they took it to shows and then you know rode it around uh, over logs and stuff like that, but. Uh, uh, for the most part, it has been an absolutely great four wheeler. Uh, it's as you can see, it's not it's not made like a normal four wheeler. It's made out of like surplus car parts. That's exactly what it is. It's it's all like those are the coilovers off of a uh, Hyundai. And if you look all over, there's all kinds of parts that come from Daewoo. And that's precisely, I think, this machine's uh, forte is being made out of like surplus car parts it is just a steel beast it weighs in at around 600 pounds it is 28 horsepower rather than uh, with most standard models like this you're only going to get about 18 19 this is a 28 horsepower job fully independent suspension all around uh, trailer towing it can it can tow um, 800 pounds uh, it has a really cool Let's see, we've got the reserve cell bags on it, um, trail braking gear. Uh, inside the bag here is a bedroll, my tent, a hatchet, a solar panel to charge it with, um, some miscellaneous stuff, odds and ends, screwdrivers, brake fluid, things like that, you know, that you might need. You know, like there's a tire patch kit in there, there's some um, rations in there, there's a couple cans of spam and some different food to eat. Uh, and that's just in case I want to just jump on this thing anytime and boondog it, which is exactly what I'm doing. Uh, in here we've got the cooking kit and some goggles and gloves and stuff like that, everything we need. Down here is like fire making, survival gear, medical kit. There's a little scalpel in there. There is a um, plaster cast in there in case someone you know, has a mechanical injury. It's a fast set plaster cast you got from hospital. Uh, that right there is an interesting story because up under the nose, you might not notice, it looks a lot like a Polaris, don't it? But um, these are called dragonfly in Europe, and people like them. But that is a 2,000-pound winch for it with plenty of line. And we've got, uh, this is like a toolbox in here. This flips open. And inside there, there is a, uh, a snatch block, um, a big chain anchor, a uh, toe strap. And uh, you can hear it when I jump around on logs, stuff like that. It goes, but th there's a bunch of chain in there and whatnot to help it get out of its, you know, bad situation. Which it does real good. I've never had it stuck. I I I've gone through, I have a video, like, going through creeks and stuff in it. And I never, this son of a bitch never gets stuck. Uh. You don't really have to even use the four-wheel drive very much on it because it's, it's just like a flip-up four-wheel drive situation, but it is shaft drive front two back axles. So uh, it's all shaft drive up there, and all four wheels lock, and they spin at the same rate. So, um, yeah, it's basically got front and back posi traction, which is completely awesome. Um, and like I said, it, it really lives up to its name despite being... You know, a, a Chinese brand, it's like top of the line Chinese. And, uh, it, I mean, you heard it in uh, the video before this. Uh, it, it starts, stops, does everything it needs to. It has all-around discs. Uh, high, low beams. It's a funny situation. They drive these as cars in Linhai because that city in China, that's one of their big prides. Is they're like, yeah, we're Linhai. And they take these things out on the road. And uh, I don't have mine on. It never came with them. The new ones do. But it has rear-view mirrors, turn signals brake lights 
and a license plate holder. Like I don't, I don't think I could get it like road legal to drive in Georgia, but um, yeah, it's a. Uh, there's places where this thing is street legal, and that's kind of why I like it. Um, as far as my overall consensus of the vehicle, I'm keeping it. I was gonna sell it and get like something Japanese, but then I really got looking at it and I found a mechanic for it that is an actual dealer, and and uh, you know they're an hour drive away, but they did some slam banging work on it. Uh, that's Papa John's golf carts in uh, I can't remember but that's Papa John's you'll see them all over Craigslist but uh, they're the only one in the area that's, that's got like the certified mechanics and whatnot and they did a bang up job on it it starts right up uh, every time I get a little bit I uh, had a, the battery drain a couple times this season but that was it got really cold and that's about a two year old battery so it's it's probably getting around time to change that battery out I took the original battery out of it and put a solid gel battery in it and that thing just has been it made it more powerful it made you know the headlights brighter everything it starts up easier starts up quicker um, it is a cold natured beast and as you can see it has a manual choke right there on that left hand um, you got to use that choke to get it started a lot of times and you do have to let it warm up but as long as it has enough power I've never had trouble with it it getting stall on me in the woods um, that was the reason I put that upgraded battery in it in the first place but yeah, it's got a CB radio. It's it's got everything, all the survival gear I need. Um, it does have its own trailer. It's a real compact trailer that it fits on behind my FJ Cruiser, and it can actually haul that trailer. So you will probably see that's when we're going to make a survival shelter out of that trailer as well as hauling. So when it is deployed, it can haul its trailer, and you've got like a little little uh, shelter and uh, you know camping platform to deal with. So that's going to be in, in, in future videos. Um, I don't know if I'm exactly doing anything with that trailer yet, but hey, you know, it's it's a work in progress. That's why it's involved around us. But overall, uh, low points. Um, you have to know the beast. You, ha you have to know uh, its nuances. It doesn't like to start and run right off the bat. It likes to start and warm up a little bit and then run. It's water cooled, and so you have to keep that in mind. Um, this isn't like you have to shut it off all the time. You can leave it running because it's it has fans like a car, and it'll and you hear them kick on in the radiator. Um, now that being aside and that uh, maintenance on it is actually pretty low cost um, a full service only cost me like 247 bucks uh, I think I got a quote on you see those front tires are getting a little bald it does like to ball off those front tires because it's such a sporty thing for being a 4x4 and uh, I think two of those tires like installed was like 150 bucks and, I, and as long as you you know they're doing the work and they're doing all the tires I could care less I'm just going to let them go for a while until they really balled off and then just buy a whole new set probably something better you know more durable tires uh but uh overall i like it because it feels so solid it's such a solid machine when i got on a 2014 polaris 400 um they wanted eight eighty six hundred dollars for it and that's you know before taxes and fees and all that and uh it was like i like i told the guy trying to sell it to me i said that's ridiculous uh, i you know i can i this thing walks out the door it's worth four thousand and uh, for all that, you know, I, I paid for $4,060 for this thing. And uh, I'm, I gotta say, I'm not disappointed in it at all. Uh, it feels, compared to a, a Polaris, it feels like it's much more solid and it feels like it's much more of a big boy's toy. Uh, it is more powerful than the Polaris 400 by about t two times. And when you put it in, in you know, low, low gear four wheel drive, that's 48 horsepower that's that's much closer to uh, a side-by-side -side, and that's actually what this thing is is uh, they have a Linhai Bighorn side-by-side -side UTV that is some some of you might have seen me sell on a couple years back but that is what it is it is the side-by-side -side utility vehicle and it's packed down into a four-wheeler frame and it does have it's it's real all tight and scrunched up under there but that's what you're looking at it's just a little single seat side-by-side and uh, like, especially the handlebars in the front end, feels nothing like a Polaris four wheeler. I mean, you got on this Polaris, and it was literally rocking back and forth when I just got on it, and you know, stop. This thing, you get on it, it's solid. When you jump a speed bump, doing fifty, it goes. Doom, boom. I mean, it is just sure-footed as hell, and it really is a big horn. I mean, it's sure-footed as a mountain goat. Uh, that four wheel drive is excellent. I would not be afraid to turn it right there and go through those trees. Uh, the brush gate and everything is what I like about this is even from the handles like where the CB antenna is mounted 
the passenger handles are all linked into the frame and so is the brush gate and this is like a serious serious brush gate and uh, I've shoved some stuff around with that but uh, that that brush guard on that front is just a monster knocks down the brush just like that and it's uh, up underneath it it has a full pan a full flat uh, metal uh, skid plate all up underneath it so I haven't like torn it through the woods or anything yet but that thing will get its ass up and uh, pack it away pretty damn fast and uh, it always gets up and starts it's I'm happy with it so that's my review of the Linhai Bighorn 4x4 ATV